Well, you can certainly see what happens if you jump out of line too quick. Harrison Burton went straight to the bottom, or to the back. And those guys on that outside lane are trying to get three wide, still trying to get three and four wide. What lane do you pick, Matty D? I know it's a tough call because that 12 is to your outside. He's got help from Keselowski. Oh, they, they are linked apart. up tightly. And what happened to Harvick? Don't yeah, he's not too far here. He broke away from that 12 car. Yeah, you, if you're Matty D, you don't want to get too far from but You hope those guys stay side by side behind you as you take the white flag. That's what he wants to see right now. Four wide through the tri oval mid pack. White flag in the air. Next flag in the air. Oh, no, Matty D. He gave went up, up on his plan. Now you got Brad Keselowski's got the uh, he's got heck done. of a push on the, on the back of him. The man with the plan, Brad Keselowski, has Michael McDowell in tow. And then Kevin Harvick. Here comes a big run from the eight. Tyler Reddick's, oh, but he's not going to uh, push the 12. There, That's going to do it for Brad Keselowski if, on that inside lane. I'm not saying he's got the win. Now the 34 and the four got to get lined up. Look at Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Oh, oh, Mile and a half to go. Talked about right there. That Jones boy up into fourth. Oh, Kevin Harvick Chris, with a run. Chris Busher back there, he's, he's, he's reckoning oh. in the wall. Big run 17 in the wall, McDowell. but here they come. What's McDowell going to do? Down oh. to the finish. One car turned in the fence. Keslowski, the leader. To the outside comes McDowell, and Brad Keslowski wins Talladega. Hey guys, welcome to my video vlog. This is Sunday. Pretty much it's. This is Sunday afternoon, technically, but I'm here. Let's do this. Let's break it down while it'll happen. Talladega. Well, there wasn't many wrecks, as I well expected to happen. Uh, but pretty much they all happen in the uh, in the uh, stage finishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Logano went for a ride, and the, the result of stage one, and then and then after. Uh, and then stage two, we had a, a about a six car pile up. Well, I mean not pile up, but a six car spin fest, so to say. I mean, nobody nobody really hit anything, but yeah, quite. I mean, quite. I mean, quite interesting. <laughs> but anywho, Brad, he just made the right move at the right time, and McDowell, man, that was, I mean, that's got to haunt him, man. That's just. I mean, well, see, number one, he's. I mean, he actually saw the the twelve coming. So, so, I mean, so th that's why he threw the block, but I mean, but but he should have moved down quick and probably uh, made a block on the two. But it's hard to say. Maybe, maybe I mean, maybe he could have turned himself, but he, but who knows? But it's just one of those look back and what could have happened type of deal. But yeah, Brad, he's he's mastering Talladega right now. He's tied with Gordon and and Earnhardt Jr. for most Talladega wins. So, so yeah, quite impressive for Brad. I mean. Great finish. I mean, nobody. Uh, well, I mean, uh, well, there was three three cars that kind of got in. Well, in the wall, so to say. Um, yeah, Chris Buescher got on the wall. Eric Jones got on the wall, and then, uh, well, then uh, Ross Chastain got pancaked in the wall and <laughs> on the front. But yeah, so many here. But yeah, but good for Brad. No, I mean, no question about it. And plus, that uh, Michael McDowell almost made it to to a uh, super. Speedway races in, in a row for for a win, but uh, just one spot short. So, so yeah. So next is Kansas this Sunday. So see what happens there. Might have another first time first time winner this season. Who knows? So, so yeah. Come on from there. And uh, nothing drag racing. The uh, s the uh, s the final Southern Nationals is coming up. So stay tuned for that. And then. WWE Raw. Well, Mace and T-Bar got unmasked, and we all know who they are. Which we all know who T-Bar was before he got unmasked. But yeah, so interesting. So I wonder if they're going to keep the masses off or what. But yeah, so yeah, yeah Drew unmasked them, and they were they were revealed. And then um, what else too? I'm trying to think of um, what else happened on Raw. Um, I guess Nia Jax is uh, t t t t t uh, ha having the old uh, butterfeet, <laughs> if you know what I mean on that. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I'm trying to think here. It's last Monday, six days ago, I'm trying to remember what happened on Raw. Um, uh, well, 
uh, Drew and Bob Bash based off Backlash. Sorry, guys. I'm, which I'm trying to think back to on Raw. I just remember all what happened. And I hate that. Usually on on, on Mondays, I, I uh, usually don't remember that well what happened. So, <laughs> so let's move on. Um, NXT was a good show. Um, yeah, Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly, I think it was Kyle O'Reilly and Pete Dunne had a match, and Kyle won that one. And then he's uh, has a then Carrie Cross, Carrie Cross has his eyes on him, so we all know who, what the next title match is going to be with that. Um, then AEW, um, well, John Mos, uh, John Moxley and uh, Kenny Kingston uh, ran the Elite's uh, trailer, <laughs> which which I don't think they were inside that trailer because because I mean once they went in there like uh, like okay and nobody and uh, no, and uh, nobody was in there so. Okay, what, what's going on, you know, um, after all that, um, I see a, um, I seen a, um, Kai Shida, uh, d d d defend her uh, women's style against, uh, Ty Conti, and, uh, what else, um, trying to think here, oh yeah, and Darby Allen d defended his, so yeah, TNT title. And I know that. Well, I think it was. Yeah, I think Lance Archer came in to help out Darby Allen and, and a Sting. And I can't remember. Who's all attacking him? Sorry, guys. Dang it. Too much wrestling in my mind's not coming to mind a lot of these, all this stuff. Uh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Too much wrestling. Too much wrestling. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so let's move uh, move on to SmackDown. Sorry, I'm not all I'm not all prepared sometimes for this. For f uh, four wrestling shows, I actually watch per week. It's I mean I mean it's beginning to be, be too much. So anywho, um, on SmackDown, well, they wanted to, well Star won a match with Roman Reigns, but it seems like Daniel Bryan's SmackDown career is on the line this Friday. Now, how I'm going to predict this, how this is going to turn out, don't know. So, yeah, I mean, I am, which I am, uh, which I'm not going to say who's going to win, but it's going to probably be a toss-up because they haven't really announced who Reigns' opponent's going to be until WrestleMania Backlash. So, so, yeah. So, it's a 50-50 of who's going to win that. So, we might see a new champion on SmackDown. We'll see. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's very likely. And um, I think what else would happen? Um, oh, and uh, I'm a Paul Cruz defend his title against Kevin Owens, and I think Owens and Biggie are f are forming an alliance. There's that. Um, and and plus Bailey keeps considering her as the next uh, challenger in line for uh, uh, Belair's title. As far as that, um, yeah. So there you go, guys. Sorry, guys. So, I mean, like I said, for too much wrestling, it's I'm, I'm gonna try to remember what all happened. So you know, I'm just kind of thinking, of, thinking of the big things I remember what happened in all those shows. So I mean, I, I mean, I can't give the complete rundown all of them. So and also too, what was the big news in the wrestling? Uh, Mark Carano, uh, he's uh, one of the talent, uh, talent uh, relations WWE got fired. For sending uh, Mickey James her, her gear in garbage bags, yeah, <laughs> that's really what happened. So I don't know if Mark's got beef with Mickey. I have no idea, but yeah, just how often do you hear that? Zero. <laughs> so she was the first to do that, and plus the Triple H and uh, and uh, St uh, uh, Stephanie took action on that, and so yeah, that's quite something. But yeah, but yeah, but Mark Carano, he's been there for years, and just that, I mean, that, I mean, that gave him the, the pink slip, he's gone, so, so yeah, there was that whole issue. As far as that, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, moving on, uh, NFL, more bad rumors about Russell Wilson getting, getting traded, this time they're saying that the New York Jets... Here's the thing with these people. I've got two words for them. Shut up. You're, I mean, I mean, you're, 
spreading bad rumors. Shut your mouth. Back off, he's ours. So there. <laughs> and then, plus, uh, uh, NBA, Portland. Oh, God. Well, they're on a losing streak, I do know that. They lost to, to Memphis twice. Then they lost to, to Nuggets and the Clippers by one point. But, uh, yeah, that's this is not good for Portland. I mean, even though there's, they're in the playoffs still, but you got to win games to keep in the playoffs. <laughs> and they're not doing that right now. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see when their next game is, but, yeah, but they lost to Memphis. So, yeah, I mean... I mean they I mean they need to get on the ball for playoff wise cuz cuz last I checked they were in 6 uh cover comfortably in, in 6th place but no okay so the next game is going to be here they face the Pacers at the Pacers on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, the the, uh, the uh, Grizzlies again, man. And Friday, the, the, the then they're at the Nets, so so, so it's a uh, road trip. Then and then the next Sunday they're at Boston. And the standings, as far as the playoffs go, they're in seventh. Not looking good. <laughs> yeah, and plus they're about two games ahead of San Antonio, which they are ninth. And so, yeah, that's not good for Portland. So they have to keep fighting to keep in. So, because I think the playoffs are coming up here pretty soon. So, so yeah. So, so I mean, so uh, who's all in right now? Since we're getting close to it, it's uh, Brooklyn. Well, on the east side, it's Brooklyn, Philly, Milwaukee, New York. And Knicks are in the playoffs, huh? Wow. <laughs> I mean, Atlanta, Boston, Miami, then Charlotte, and then Indiana is about two games back from Charlotte, and Washington about four games back. And then on the west, it's a Utah. Surprisingly, this year they're doing really well. And plus, same with Phoenix, they're in second. Then the Clippers and Denver and the Lakers are in fifth with with the um, most popular guy in politics, LeBron James. I can think of less of him now. Well, ever since he's, oh, I mean, see, here's my thing. Once I'm going to stop there with LeBron James since I brought him up. You know, when LeBron James posts these uh, tweets I'm, I'm, I'm about these, what's I mean, what's going on in the real world, and he sends this one that I seen that uh, to, to, to a police officer of uh, what happened in um, Cincinnati, and he's and it said he will get what's coming to him. That's a death threat because of what happened. And 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 plus and and uh, and. Uh, and uh, that, that was seen around the world, too. I mean, well, well around the nation. But, but then James took it off, and then he sent an apology. But see, here's the thing. When, I mean, when LeBron opens his mouth about this stuff, the NBA does do nothing. Why? He works for the NBA. Why does the NBA t don't take action of, of him to do, doing this crap? Because I would like to know, it's because he's black, big star player, making a lot of money. One of those two choices right there. Could be one of them too. But it's sad of how he's getting. And plus, guys, when we discuss the greatest of all time, I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. Because Michael Jordan didn't to do this during his time. He kept his mouth shut. And plus, and plus that, and, he's, and he still continues to continue to keep his mouth shut. So, I mean, they should. I mean, the NBA should suspend him. But they don't. Because of those two things I just mentioned. It's our world, people. Glad we're a part of it. So anyway, off of that. And and the, and uh, and uh, then it's Dallas, then Portland, then Memphis, and then San Antonio and Golden State are tied, so to say. So, so yeah, Portland needs to start winning games. <laughs> this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. And 
it doesn't say in uh, in a row, but yeah. So yeah, there you have it on that. Okay. And uh, oh dang, I closed my YouTube. I, I I'm getting my, my comments back up. Anywho, um, MLB kind of taking a break from, from from now because we all know what's going on in that, so I want to keep away from that. Um, as far as that, uh, college, um, have heard anything in college football or basketball. And baseball, I believe Oregon, I think there's, I think they moved up one spot from last week. But I don't know how they did this week, so. So, yeah, but still, the Ducks are, 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 are doing well in baseball, which I'm glad. So, so at least there's one baseball league I can watch that that's uh, that's a non ball put politics, right? <laughs> so yeah, how off of that? So yeah, so there you have it. Anyway, uh, playlist updates I got none. Uh, I haven't made any playlists. Had anything on my playlists lately? There's nothing I can think of right now. Yeah, it's nothing. So, so yeah, yeah with that. So now, it's time to read your comments. Sponsored by Money in 1989. Go, go, go check out this channel. Yeah, so only got four four videos here, so let's see if we got any comments here. Since since this week's videos have, have uh, been so small. So anywho, Alan G uh, commented on my uh, last week's video vlog. I've agreed with you be, be, because, the, because the ones we... All love is sports. Keeps keeps uh, keeps putting into all this politics crap. This is this insane to all of us a, as a sports fan. Hashtag keeps sports off out of politics and back off. Amen. And then also to uh, and and more to it. We're getting tired of uh, what's been happening around the world. Off with that. And 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 uh, and uh, we're trying to watch such some sports. Such as NBA, NFL, NASCAR, NHRA, WE, and college sports. Yes. And guys, the way the NBA is going, they might get involved. I'm just saying. It, I mean, it's. I mean, it's looking that that way for the NBA right now. So, which I hope they're not the next. Which they might be the next. Which, which I don't want to say it, but. But I got a feeling. I really do. And then. Our response to Jeremy's latest video, Jeremy's ego, with a special cameo message from Breath Hitman Heart. Okay, and, 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 and there's Colonel Ward. Very nice, the, the bond you have with, with your brother, like, 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 like me and my dad and my older brother. Live, live together, but sometimes we particularly hate each other. <laughs> well, that's family. That's family. And then Alan G., Watch out, dear slowpoke. <laughs> the uh, the uh, the right hearts are coming, coming at ya. <laughs> I'll leave a like on that one, Alan G. That's nice. And then NASCAR 14 career part five. Okay, and but man, nineteen nine commented. Nice race at at, at at Charlotte, man. Thanks. With eighty laps, I was totally unaware of. And then, oops, dang it. Thank you. Anyway, Michael Mick, Mick, uh, London, London. This, the new song, new, is new and new. Okay, I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, whatever. I don't get it. And then W2K Towers, part 61, which I haven't uh, made an be on it yet, which I will. I, I got two comments, and one of them is a dang freaking. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sending a but mania. Nice matchup with uh, with Andre Savage and, and Warhead, man. Thanks. Just too bad. I mean, I couldn't finish it off. Stupid stuff, Seth Rollins. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's it, guys, for that. Just, just a. I mean, just small comments, that's all it is, so. So, yeah, that's it. So, as far as videos coming next, my next live stream, guys, this Friday and Saturday. Yep. So, so you have to wait all the way up till Friday till I get back in W2K20, which will be continuing more of the 2K Towers, where, I mean, we're, uh, 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 I mean, it's getting close to the end for them. So, which I, 
which I'll be done with those because I do realize on uh, on uh, the uh, not the showcase uh, the career also has more towers, but I won't put you guys through that, okay? Because I because me because I think you and me we need to move on to every two two K battlegrounds before every two K twenty two comes out. So <laughs> so yeah, so that's what I'm planning to have to do. So yes, so there's. More towers, but I might do that at another time. We'll just see how it goes from there because I'm still planning about what to do with my uh, uh, with my live streams and and posting videos in the future. So that one's going to probably be put on hold for a bit. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So there you have it on that. And plus more NASCAR 14 career. I just did a video uh, uh, last night, so and it's on my channel. Just gotta wait until it comes. So <laughs> so yeah. So there you all have it with that. Um, as far as that, uh, the weather here, it's getting warm. Spring, uh, like I said last week, got a nice uh, rain, sh showered up uh, yesterday, which was nice. Need some rain for sure. So, so yeah, that's it. So and plus that, guys, tune into the uh, Rider Rider Piper documentary on, on, on A&E tonight because I, know, because I know I will, so... I mean, it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. So, so yeah, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching. And 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 from the guy that has over 5,000 subscribers and, and lives in Pelton, Oregon, I'm out of here. Take care, guys.